Good to have you along on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Matt Scott, still under a weather watch alert. Wind is our big issue. Not snow, not ice. Very strange storm, but it's doing some damage tonight as those wind chills get to 15 to 30. Some of you may even get colder than that. That's dangerous stuff, so that's why we've been talking about frostbite potential, hypothermia. You need to cover up, layer up if you're heading out tonight and uh, watch your pets as well. By tomorrow afternoon, this will relax a bit. We have a wind chill uh, warning for much of the state. If you're not under it, don't worry, you're still getting the cold. So plan for brutal temperatures everywhere across the state. This morning, blue skies keeping things warmish. But the temperatures have been sliding all afternoon, and they're not done yet. Satellite radar picture, not a thing to show you. We had that front come through. It gave us a few snowflakes, and that was it. And that's a second wave of this now Arctic air infiltrating uh, the Great Lakes region back into the Dakotas and New England. But here's the good news. Because it's not really making it down into the Continental 48, we'll see it relax just as quickly. So things get better in the forecast by the time we reach Sunday. Dangerous cold is in the cards for today. We're looking for mostly sunny skies. Clear skies tonight will not help the temperature free fall. It continues all the way down to minus readings before you factor in the winds. As we go down the line, we see a change in the flow it becomes more southerly by Sunday and that will help moderate the temperatures considerably, not only for Sunday, but into next week. All right, here are the temperatures this morning in the teens. As we go through the afternoon, they cool off even farther. And by the way, look at these numbers inland. <whistles> Northern New England, 16 below in Burlington, 23 below Saranac Lake, New York, even Boston at five below, that's at eight o'clock tonight. As we go overnight, the numbers get worse Midnight, 25, 27 below in Saranac Lake, Keene, 15 below. Minus readings make it all the way down here into Connecticut. But it goes back up starting tomorrow, and that's the way we'll keep it as we go into next work week. So the temperature's going in the wrong direction. Dress for single digits, dress for minus readings starting for the late afternoon, and boy, does it get bitter. Dangerous stuff. Zero for the temperature, 18 below around midnight, and then minus 25 into tomorrow morning. Some of you in higher elevations get worse. We do rebound the temperatures, but it's still a bitter Saturday, so still layer up as we go through the first half of the week. Remember, 211, that's the number you call. If you need to find a warming center, there are plenty of them open for the next 48 hours. Moderating the temperature starting on Sunday. Look at this. Back to the winter that wasn't, with temperatures well above normal in the mid to upper 40s, 50 or better. Look, it's Thursday at 56. No snow still around here. That is a look at the forecast. Make it a great day. Stay safe, and we'll see you at 5 and 6 p.m. tonight on the Fox 61 News.